How's it going everybody? Welcome to Ripping Packs. It is Monday and ripping open some more basketball. Now I just got some of this stuff in. Um, just realistically, just the other day, it was just I've been in and out of town and dealing with stuff. And then I had a brand new Walmart and I found something. So anyway, it's comparison rip of the latest and newest NBA release for 22-23. I said a two. And what is it? Well, it's time to go to the well for some NBA hoops. We are going to do a retail comparison of the Walmart box, the holiday box, the retail blaster, and the fat pack. We are going to rip open all this and we're gonna see which one you should buy when you stumble across it out in the field. I'll see you in a second. Hi there, I'm Craig Michelson. And I just got back into the hobby after more than 15 years away. Join me as I reconnect with the hobby one pack at a time. Now let's rip some packs. Ripping packs on Monday, and we are doing a retail comparison of NBA 22-23 hoops. First, we're going to start off with the fat pack. That's right, we got 30 cards inside of here. Once we get done with this, we're going to go right to the blaster box that you will find most places. The uh, the 90 cards inside. We have 15 packs, uh, six packs of 15 cards each. And then we're going to go to the Walmart exclusive holiday retail blaster, which is going to be the same iteration, just you're gonna get a holiday card. Like probably it's, yeah. Your are autographs and everything inside of, possibility of autographs and all these, and uh, mems, all that fun stuff, and relics, yeah. Anyway, before I rip open any of that stuff and start the comparison for you, thank you so much. And thank you so much. And thank you so much. And leave a comment, the comment is, You've been paying attention. Who are some of the rookies that you really like? Now, granted, these are going to be in here. Um, there's a handful of the rookies out there. And to me, uh, I do have a slight, uh, slight closeness to uh, uh, Paolo Bancaro. Uh, only reason I say it is one of my film friends uh, who I've known for years. His, uh, his family is actually very, very tight with his family. And so when we were talking about Paolo, I was like, who? I didn't even know who the guy was because I really don't follow college basketball. But then I found out about him like, oh wow, this guy's really good. And then I saw his stats and everything like that in college. And then his first year in the NBA, and the guy's legit. He's like one of the few really good players this year out of all the guys who were drafted. I mean, I do have a little list of like the five, you know, five, ten guys who were drafted that are actually doing decent. But anyway, that's what I can tell you. I, I really have not tracked much of the college players and, and then the guys who just came out in this year's draft. Um, sorry, bad, bad host, but obviously I've been focusing more on baseball and football and family stuff. Anyway, that's it. So who do you, who do you think has been the best rookie so far? All right, you ready to rip open some basketball? That's right, we are gonna start with the value pack, AKA the fat pack. Now this was $6.99 at Target, 30 cards inside of here. We are looking at, uh, what is it? The teal explosion and, aug and the orange. Uh, now this is what you can find inside of here. Yes, there are some possibilities of signatures, autographs, all that fun stuff. There are some numbered cards, not a lot, but you can get that inside of here. I was tempted to do a hobby box on this. Uh, the price was not bad, but it's hoops. So yeah, so I just didn't. Yeah, I'd rather just do this and get it over with. Granted that said, yeah, I 50, uh, yeah, it's not a hobby box. I was gonna say price wise it might've been, but cause a hobby box about 100 to 125 about. Anyway, we're gonna rip this open. Yeah, that stuff, good, bye, see you later, boom. Okay, you ready? Great, here we go, value pack time of NBA hoops. We're gonna show you the first card and then any hits I see from there, All right? Ready, let's go, ripping packs, three, two, one. Let's rip some packs, let's go. Okay, and here we go. Let's go right from the top. And, oh, Jesus. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there we go. Oh, we got a uh, orange, or orange explosion, teal explosion right on the back. Great. Uh, so here is DeAndre Jordan. This is one thing I still am very, very uh, uh, frustrated with about the NBA in general with any Panini products. Henry Jordan says the Nuggets wearing his 76ers jersey. Uh, I 
was a big fan of DeAndre when he played for the Clippers. Now, granted, that was, you know, they're here. Um, just awesome. Fun guy to watch play. But either way, that is what the front of the card looks like. Again, really annoying. They had these guys long enough. At least you could Photoshop the jersey. You Photoshop them in uh, baseball. I think you can Photoshop them in NBA. Anyway, so there is DeAndre Jordan. That is the front of the card. And then the back of the card here is your typical NBA hoops. Black and white, little story, little info, all that fun stuff. But again, this is aimed towards a beginning collector. So there's DeAndre Jordan. Then we get a second year here of uh, Cade Cunningham. I'll show you Cade real quick, but that is Cade's second year who's injured now for the rest of the year. Cade Cunningham, no longer a rookie. Well, in this. Uh, we have Dayron Sharp here. He's a second year too, right? Second year. Uh, Zach Levine, he would be a hit maybe, but I don't throw him in the hits. Uh, Gary Trent Jr., former Blazer, former uh, dad was a great player. Tyler Hero, is he a hit? I don't put him in there. Uh, Malcolm Brogdon here for the wearing the Pacers, but repping the uh, Celtics. Seth Curry, brother of Steph, flip it around here. We do have ourselves uh, Contavious Caldwell Pope wearing, wearing the uh, Washington uh, Wizards and we're playing for the Nuggets now, evidently. Anthony Davis, I do throw AD in the hits. Christian Wood, he's a second year too, right? No, way, way past second year. Uh, Brandon Boston Jr., he is a second year. Former, he's with the Clips. Kyle Kuzma, who, did he get traded? Uh, there is LeBron. I'll show you the LeBron right there. Um, we just saw uh, yesterday that Kyrie Irving got traded to the Mavericks, and I, I couldn't care less. I'm not a Kyrie Irving fan, um, but yeah, it's kind of nice because he was really hoping to go to the Lakers. It sounded like uh, Kevin Porter there for the Rockets. Flipping around, we got Keldon Johnson here for the Spurs. We got Rudy Gay for the Jazz. We got our first rookie here of uh, Musa Debate for the Clippers. Our first rookie of the day, the clip shows uh, rookie. Don't know anything about him, but yeah, I'm not really tracking many of the uh, Clippers rookies. Gonna go down here in the rookie pile. Then we get a second rookie. No, but we got an Allen Iverson. Looks like a re, uh, a flashback card here. Allen Iverson with the uh, 76ers. Uh, he's in the Hall of Fame, isn't he? If not, he's like in the in the cool dude Hall of Fame. But there's Allen Iverson. Yeah, throw him in the hits. Why not? Then we got another rookie here of a uh, Caleb Houston. Uh, Caleb Houston for the Orlando Magic. Is it Houston, like the city, or Houston? I don't know, but Caleb Houston with the Magic, and they got a good young group of guys, dude. Seriously, they do. Now uh, we have Moses Moody, second year for the Warriors. Another rookie here of Blake Wesley for the San Antonio Spurs. Blake Wesley right there. None of these rookies are even ringing a bell right now, but yeah, sorry guys. Uh, we have another Nikola Jokic, another of those retros, and Nikola's a hit. I don't like him personally, but you, you got to respect the game, man. You got to respect the guy. The other guy's as good as he is. But there's Nikola Jokic going into the hits. We should have another rookie here. The way it's playing, and we do have Malachi Branham. Malachi Branham here for the Spurs. Malachi Branham going into a rookie pile that's still down there. Malachi Branham. And then we got our first PC hit here of the day, Josh Hart, who is still with the Blazers, so there's always something to be said there. And I'll throw you down here right now. And then we have Mark Williams. Mark Williams uh, with the Hornets, the big man who is doing okay this year, it looks like, at least what I saw stats-wise. I mean, he's one of the top, you know, top 10 rookies, if you will. But uh, Mark Williams there for the Hornets. Probably our best rookie we pulled. Do you have a green explosion? So we'll go to the back here, because maybe it's cool. Uh, we got ourselves uh, Walker Kessler here for arriving now. Walker Kessler for the uh, for the Jazz, and he's actually he's doing pretty well too, from what I saw, uh, rookie wise. Walker Kessler, right there. You're gonna go in the rookie pile. That is the arriving now insert. Then we have a Donovan Mitchell with the sky view. Where in the? I mean, come on. The guy is killing it this year for the Cavaliers, and you couldn't have just went ahead and photoshopped a Cleveland jersey on there. I don't know, but anyway, the Sky View insert. Guys having an awesome year for the for the uh, Cavaliers. Did get a purple here of Clint Capella, purple parallel Clint Capella for the uh, Atlanta Hawks. Clint Capella. Well, you're pretty much you're an insert in parallel, so I'm making I'll make a pile for you. But there's your Clint Capella. And there's our Mark Williams and our per, our uh, Aqua Teal Explosion. Uh, is it a? It is a guard, not a rookie. 
It is James Harden. Oh my God, James Harden. I don't know if you watch the show. I'm not a James Harden fan. I'm not at all. It's a cool looking card, and honestly, I mean, the guy from what I've seen is just having a great year. In fact, he got left off the NBA All Star team. There's, he's like a big snub. Um, but James Harden, there for the Sixers. Again, the guy's just a good ball player. It's just there's a handful of guys in the NBA I just think are tools, and he's one of them. James Harden there with the teal. Uh, teal explosion. So cool. All right, there is your fat pack. Uh, it was a fat pack. I don't know what to tell you guys. 30 cards. All right, so now we go to triple that. We go to the blaster box. This was $24.99 at the Target. Uh, 90 cards inside of here. We're looking at 15 packs, uh, six packs of 15 cards each. You know, this is what you can and cannot get inside here. Yes, you can get uh, some numbered cards again. Yes, you can get autographs, things like that. Now, here's the thing. We are looking at the exclusive Rise and Shine Mem and Rookie Rem Rembrandts. Uh, but there's no guarantee of getting them, as opposed to the winter uh, box, not the holiday box, more the winter box that does have them, evidently. But that is what we're looking for there. We're looking for the exclusive uh, return of the great significance. Now, the one thing a lot of people are upset about is they do not have the slam inserts in these uh, this season. So that's just the way it is. Anyway, are you ready to rip this open? Great. Let's do it. All right. Comparison. Let's keep rolling. NBA hoops. Three, two, one. Let's rip some packs. Let's go. Okay, now again, this was 25 bucks. Hobby box, like I said, is about 100. I've seen about, about 120. Is it worth it? Well, I don't know. But I'm, are you ready for me to just get a bunch of loose packs here? Yeah, a bunch of loose packs right here. There we go. Six packs of 15 cards inside. Some retail goodness of NBA hoops. You ready? Let's just go to pack number one. Pack number one of NBA hoops. Blaster box. Ribbon packs. Let's uh, let's go. All right, we got Cam Reddish for the Knicks. We got DeAndre Hunter for the Hawks. Another Gary Trent. Another Tyler Hero. Let's flip it around here. We got ourselves Caleb Martin here for the Heat. Dorian Finley Smith. He was Finley. He was just traded to uh, to Brooklyn in that. The, uh, the deal for uh, Kyrie. Malik Monk. Paul George. I throw Paul in the hits because he is like really awesome. Shaden Sharp. Uh, this guy is good. This guy's good. Uh, he's getting he's getting a little bit of playing time here and there. He is a PC hit for me. Uh, but just a fun, young, exciting, athletic guy. Just watch. He's just he's just right now, he's just that guy who's diving for loose balls, doing whatever he can to just get keep that playing time. But Shaden Sharp there for the Blazers, our first rounder this year. Then we get a shy Gilgis Alexander, another just stud. We got Chet Holmgren. Well, the uh, number what number two overall pick. Uh, there's your Chet Holmgren rookie, and the guy missing all this year due to a uh, infra like something happened with his foot that he couldn't even play. But the uh, standout collegiate basketball player who is uh, now in the NBA, well, watching games in the NBA, I guess. But there's Chet Holmgren, one of the possible rookies next for next year. Go in the rookie pile. We got Draymond Green. Uh, Peyton Watson here for the Nuggets rookie card. Peyton Watson, you're going to go hang out in the rookie pile as well, my friend. We get, did get a blue parallel here of Justin Holiday here for the, well, playing for the Hawks, but where in Sacramento? Is he related to Drew? Maybe. I don't know. There's a lot of holidays in the NBA. But there's Justin Holiday, Pimp in the blue parallel. And then we got ourselves, see the rookie greetings from Houston, Tari Eason for the Rockets with the season greetings rookie. Tari Eason uh, doesn't say where he's from, but says on the back, but he plays at Houston for the uh, Rockets, evidently. But there is Tari Houston. Again, I think if I recall how he was like one of the top 10 guys that I saw, just name-wise, I remember the Tari part. But Tari Eason for the uh, Houston Rockets. All right, you ready for pack number uh, two? Pack two of NBA Hoops. All right, all right, Malcolm Brogdon here for the Celtics, Seth Curry, Marquee, uh, Laurie Markinen, who I 
recall was having a really good year, at least I saw stats-wise. P.J. Washington, Patrick Beverly for the Lakers, wearing the Timberwolves, Harrison Barnes for the Kings, Corey Kispert, second year, yeah, second year rookie, whatever. Juan Toscano Anderson there for the Lakers, but wearing the Golden State Warriors. Eric Gordon. We did get a Anthony Edwards with that throwback, flashback, whatever it is, Ant-Man there. Another guy who missed an All-Star uh, game this year, but there is Ant-Man. One of the uh, one of the solid young players who should be getting some more time, uh, more accolades, if you will. Vince Williams Jr. here for the uh, Memphis Grizzlies. Vince Williams, he is a rookie who uh, happens to be playing basketball in Memphis. Uh, Rudy Gay for the or Utah Jazz. We have another Musa, uh, Musa, Musa Debate for the Clippers. We already pulled you in the fat pack, but there is your card yet again, my friend. Let me get a uh, sky view here of uh, looks like it's a foil base of James Harden. It's a James Harden day, people. I already told you my love, my love of James Harden, but there is the James Harden hollow. It looks like James Harden with the sky view insert. And Cade Cunningham with the frequent flyers. And the way you're getting injured in your playing time, buddy, I don't know how frequent I'm going to be expecting that. But guy's good. Um, no, no knock there. It's just playing time is an issue because the guy can't stay healthy. But there is Cade Cunningham going into, well, they pile for now. All right, pack number three. NBA hoops basketball rip back. Comparison. That's right. This is an actual comparison rip of the retail product I found so far. We have George Hill, Grant Williams, who is fun because he likes to wear the Batman Master in Halloween. Uh, Darius Garland here for the Cavaliers. Derek Rose, John Collins. We have Nikola Jokic. I'll show you Nikola. Why not? Because he is a hit. Again, I don't like the guy, but gotta respect the game. Nikola Jokic. We have Devonta Graham here for the Pelicans. Gabe Vincent for the Heat. Justin Holiday. We pulled your parallel earlier. There is another Allen Iverson. I showed it to you, but I just showed it to you. Uh, there's Caleb Houston again, or Houston, for the Orlando Magic. I'll show you that again because, well, why not? I might want to see it again. Caleb Houston, rookie for the Magic. We have Moses Moody, second year. We have Tyrese Martin here for the uh, Atlanta Hawks. Tyrese Martin, he's a rookie. And that's about all I can tell you. But it's Tyrese Martin for the uh, for the Hawks. Did get a blue parallel rookie here of a uh, Usman Ding, Usman Ding uh, for the Thunder. But it's a nice little blue parallel at least. So I don't know who the dude is, but hey, you know what? It's a rookie. <laughs> Seriously, yeah, I am sorry. I am not up on the NBA. I mean, I'm not not on the rookies. I'm not up on the I'm up on the NBA a little bit, you know, but when it's all said and done, yeah. No, sorry guys. And then we have another arriving now of a Oche Agbaji uh, for the uh, Utah Jazz. Uh, another rookie that I am very, very well not aware of. Oche Agbaji. Yeah. So, oh, he played for Kansas, evidently. All right, you ready for pack number three? Pack three of NBA hoops. Retail blaster boxes go. And we got ourselves a Fred Van Fleet, who is a pretty good ball player. James Book Knight, this image looks very familiar. Miles Turner, Ben Simmons, that's about appropriate because the guy doesn't play. I mean, well, he does now, but just that's corny. And yeah, no thanks. We got Luca, there's a nice little hit. Luca, a base hit, if you will. Uh, Luka Doncic, who has now got a uh, now got a point guard uh, on his team as well, uh, who can again Kyrie Irving is a great ball player, just a piece of trash outside of that. But I mean, at least again, my opinion as a human being, I they just don't like the guy. But there's Luka, either way, who is a good dude, evidently. And yeah, CJ McCollum, uh, former Blazer, love that guy. Jaden McDaniels, who is, uh, he's definitely, he's got some potential to be really good, especially if the rules kind of get their playing thing in order. Darren Fox, I believe he made the All-Star team, didn't he? Anthony Simons, who is, yeah, this guy's good. He's my he's, he's my PC pal, but he's going to the hits for right now. Uh, Christian Braun here for the Nuggets. Christian Braun, rookie, wearing the Nuggets gear. But Christian Braun, again, Another guy I just don't know, Christian Braun. And then we got a Jabari Smith Jr. He was a uh, he was not he was in the high picks, wasn't he? 
for the Houston Rockets. That doesn't say rookie on it, but it is a rookie card. Jabari Smith. He was, was he, was he third? I don't remember where he was at. Maybe he was third or something like that, but I do remember Jabari Smith. And he's been he's been good, but not like living up to his name. But I mean, but they were expecting, but come on, they're rookies. What do you expect? Jabari Smith. To get a rookie here of AJ Griffin. Man, the guy is yoked. He's got some he's got some arms there. He's got some muscles. AJ Griffin there, rookie for the Atlanta Hawks. Gonna go flex down here in the rookie pile. And Trey Man for the Thunder. We did get a purple parallel of Isaiah Jackson for the for the uh, Pacers. Isaiah is Isaiah Isaiah Jackson for the Indiana Pacers with the purple parallel that is off centered, left to right there. Like it matters, but still. And last card is a Lamelo Ball Skyview Lamelo Ball, who is. He's been, I mean, he had injuries to start the year and everything, but I don't know, he kind of took a step back when Anthony Edwards took a step forward when it's all said and done. But still, I mean, he's a good ball player. You can't knock the guy at all from that. But LaMelo Ball there for the uh, Shad Hornets. All right, got two packs left here of Blaster Box. Well, the Blaster Box. Pack number uh, five of the Blaster Box. NBA Hoops, let's go. All right, yeah, we got a purple maybe coming up, something. I got Danny Green here for the Grizzlies. Gordon Hayward, who, eh, whatever. Uh, Pat Connaughton, former Conahan, former uh, Connaughton, whatever. Used to be a Blazer, and he actually played my, uh, he was a college baseball player who was drafted, I think, by Baltimore. Uh, Peyton Pritchard, former Oregon Duck. Kitsap Porzingis, good ball player, but nothing really happened in there. Russell Westbrook for the Lakers. Jay Sean Tate for the Rockets. Jamal Murray doing his thing for the Nuggets. He's kind of a hit. Herbert Jones, second year, kind of a hit. We did have a rookie here for the Thunder of Osman Ding yet again. So we got your base and we got your uh, blue down there somewhere, but Osman Ding, probably butchering that completely. Got a uh, Chris Paul here with that uh, throwback retro. Chris Paul, not a hit, at least in my eyes, the way I see it, but there's Chris Paul, salt ball player, but still. Our next rookie here is Benedict Mathurin, if I pronounce that right, but I have seen, this guy's been good. He's been like one of the top rookies this year, like top three or four rookies, just in general, with the Pacers there, just a overall, just a uh, just a, just a go-getter out there and just pushing it, man, but there is Benedict uh, Mathurin, Rookie pile. We have Donovan Mitchell, who is, yeah, as we all talked about there, uh, wearing his Utah Jazz jersey, but has the Cleveland Cavaliers logo there. He is uh, just a man amongst boys this season. To get our blue parallel here, Pat Connaughton, <laughs> Connaughton, whatever. You, I, I don't even remember how to pronounce it, but there is the blue parallel of the former uh, two seasons with the Blazers, and I think he was in the slam dunk contest too. And last card is a nice, a Shaden Sharp rookie's greetings. Uh, from yeah, there's a nice little Portland uh, Blazers PC hit right there. Again, the guys, the guys doing. It's been nice. I did watch the. I was at the game up in Portland, saw the uh, the Blazers and the Hawks, and um, he just had some nice little. Play. He's awesome, just going all around the court and just had a nice little dunk and everything. But yeah, You're ready for the last pack? Pack number six of the Blaster Box. It doesn't have any holiday things with it. Anyway, let's go. Ah! I throw packs of cards. All right. Let's see here. We got Isaiah Livers, Livers for the Pistons. Quentin Grimes. I pulled a bunch of his rookie cards last year. How did he end up doing? Uh, six points a game, 46 games. Eh, well, yeah. Uh, Trey Young, that is a hit. Didn't play in the game I was at. Scotty Barnes, who's had a down season, but rookie of the year last year. Cody Martin here for the Hornets. We did get ourselves a Max Struss for the Heat. Do not know him. Uh, Davian Mitchell, solid, solid uh, second-year guy who was uh, really fun to watch. Just another just scrappy guy. We have Robert Covington, former Hawk, I believe, former Blazer, I know that, and now a Clipper. Uh, Brandon Ingram, I tell him it's. There's our first Paolo, uh, Paolo Bancaro. Guy I talked about briefly there. Uh, my friend Siegfried, his family was very tight with his family. And again, he was actually, they were having dinner and he texted me, you know, when I started doing the show. He's like, hey, you want him on the show? I'm like, who? And then I looked him up and I'm like, oh, damn. And obviously nothing's happened. 
but I know they actually do chat his family and their family. So maybe there's time in the future that uh, I'll get Paolo on for something, but or at least have him do a little like, hey, thanks for watching Ripping Packs or something stupid. Yeah. Anyway, this guy, one of the best rookies is here flat out. Right now, the rookie of the year, the way it's playing out. Uh, Jonathan Kaminga, good old Warrior second year stud. We have Kendall Brown here for the Pacers. Kendall Brown, the Indiana Pacers rookie card. Yeah. We have Zion here with the retro throwback. Zion Williamson definitely hit, and he made the All-Star game. Granted, it was a starter, he was voted in, but he's had a great season, man. Uh, just being healthy, that's what's great. Zion Williamson. Next rookie here is Wendell Moore Jr. here for the T-Wolves. Wendell Moore Jr. Again, a guy I know nothing about. That's a lot of today's episode. Sorry, guys. And Clay Thompson, we did get a hollow of uh, Jamal Murray. A hollow red parallel. It's Whatever, but Jamal Murray, so the guy's at least good, so I can at least be happy there. But there is the hollow of Jamal Murray, or whatever you want to call it, the uh, rainbow foil, if you're on tops. But there's Jamal Murray, and the last card is another Paolo. Nice, Paolo Bancaro for the uh, arriving now. Arriving now insert. So that's Blaster Box number one right there. And honestly, it wasn't bad. I mean, we didn't get any hits, hits like, you know, any uh, parallel, I mean, big time parallels or any of the, uh, you know, autographs or any numbered cards. But yeah, it was not bad at all. So I can't be, yeah, too frustrated. Now it's time for the NBA Hoops Retail Winter Blaster, as they call it. We have the same thing. We have six packs aside here of 15 cards. We have 90 total cards. It is the winter exclusive inserts. That's what we're looking for. The winter blaster with exclusive rookie sweater inserts. One autograph or mem card is included inside as opposed to the other blaster box. Now this was 2748 or some stupid number. By, by the way, that's what you can get right there. Uh, 2748. It's the only place you can get it is Walmart and I think Meyer. But when it's all said and done, if you want this, you gotta pay their stupid pricing. You can't like stumble across it at Barnes and Noble or anything like that. You gotta deal with the MJ holding stuff. So 2748. So we are gonna get a hit, supposed to, and we'll see if it's any good. But I mean Blast Box one was not awful. I got a couple of the good rookies. It wasn't bad, so I can't be too upset there. Anyway, are you ready to rip this open? Great. Again. 2022-23 NBA Hoops Blaster Box Winter Edition. Not holiday, winter. Because by the time it aired, it showed up, it was winter time. All right, let's go. 3, 2, 1, ribbon backs. Let's go. Comparison Part 3. All right. And let's see what we get. All right, now these packs are same. They're blue, though. They're blue. It's the same deal. So here we are. We have six packs here of 15 cards. That is what we get. Let's see if I can see if there's anything special. Okay, we got a relic. I'll put that at the end. A fat relic. Huh, well, that's what, what you get out of these. It says an autograph or a relic, but it's 95% of the time a relic. Anyway, pack number one of the NBA Hoops Winter Blaster. All right, got Jalen Brown here with, uh, yeah, that's uh, got some print marks on it. Jalen Brown is a hit, but man, these are, uh, huh, it's almost like, uh, actually, this is horrible. There's a giant little uh, cut over here. There's a bunch of marks on it. Let's see if you guys can see that, but man, that is horrible. I, and Jalen Brown's hit either way, but still, that's it's a horrible looking card. Oh, my God. Uh, what the hell? Oh, th this is the snow. This is the snow. This is, okay. Wow, Craig, get your head out of your ass. This is the snow. Just like the holiday from Tops. That's the snow on there. Okay. Jeremy Grant here for the Blazers. That is a, uh, he's just re-upped with them, although they might be trading him depending on how much worse they do. We have Bogdan Bogdanovich here for the Atlanta Hawks. I mean, again, I will show you. It's, it's, okay, yeah, there's, yeah, you just gotta, I'm stupid. <laughs> there you see, there's the snow cap, there is the snow and all that fun stuff. But there's Bogdan Bogdanovich. Maybe I need to pay attention to some of these because they might have a, uh, they might have a, uh, like, you know, a candy cane or something like that on it. All right, then we have ourselves a precious Achua. Duncan Robinson here for the Miami Heat. 
Dylan Brooks, DeMontis Savonis, I like that guy, he's a good ball player, but DeMontis Savonis, son of Arvidas, former Blazer. Rui Hachimura, who just got traded to the Lakers not too long ago. There's Carmelo Anthony, who is not playing, if I recall, anymore. We have uh, Dalen Trent here, uh, Dalen Trent for the rookie, uh, the, for the Bulls. And it's very prevalent right there, Dalen Trent with his, uh, with the snow, the winter, if you will. There's Dalen Trent. Uh, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, I believe that's a second year card right there. Yes, it is. That, there's a Jalen Duran here for the Pistons. Jalen Duran, another uh, another guy who I saw stats wise was doing pretty solid uh, for the Pistons. Maybe it's because Cade Cunningham's out. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you because the Pistons are they're an interesting team. I'll put it that way. But there's Jalen Duran, one of the rookies for the Pistons. We got a even these cards. Anthony Davis here with the uh, retro. Anthony Davis. Even the inserts have them. But then again, there's not a lot of. Uh, Wow, these are just kind of stuck together here. Okay. Yeah, even the inserts. That's not an insert. But then we have a uh, Oklahoma City Rookie Greetings. Even these have them of Osmane Ding. So I wish I knew a little bit more about this guy because I pulled like four or five of him. But Osmane Ding, even these cards have them. See, so you notice it's just... Okay, that's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. I wouldn't expect that. And then we have a purple parallel of uh, Keegan Murray for the uh, Sacramento Kings. And I'm throwing that in the rookie pile because I'm assuming, yeah, he is. Yeah, he went to Iowa, so he is a rookie. There's Keegan Murray for the Kings with the Winter Edition. Okay, making more sense now. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's why I'm doing the show. So I'm learning while you're learning. Pack number two of the NBA Hoops Retail Winter Blaster Box. Let's go. All right, we got Aaron Nesmith here for the Pacers. I didn't know he's traded. Uh, Cameron Thomas, another guy wearing one jersey and playing for a different team. Isaac Okoro, who has he panned out at all? Emmanuel Clickley, I like that guy. So screw it, he's a hit. Uh, Alperin Singoon here for the Rockets. Solid, solid player. Uh, Will Barton here for the uh, Wizards. Jackson Hayes uh, for the Pelicans. Caleb Martin for the Miami Heat. First rookie in the pack here is another uh, Dyson Daniels for the Pelicans. Another, it's actually, I think, the first Dyson I pulled. Dyson Daniels there with the winter rookie. I wonder what these are going to have print run wise, wise because if you're going to maybe a parallel of these, might be a better deal. Uh, I love this guy's name. <laughs> Even if I pronounce it wrong, Lugnets Dort. Lugnets Dort. I mean, come on, Dort? But lug, I mean, let's see, lug nuts. I don't know. Playing for the, he'd be great playing for the Pistons if you know what I mean. Like lug nuts, Dorts playing for the Detroit Pistons, It'd be perfect. But anyway, lug nuts, Dork. Why not? Okay, you're just hanging out in the comments, though, buddy. We've got another uh, Jabari Smith here. Jabari Smith for the Rockets with the winter uh, rookie, if you will. There's Jabari going in the rookie pile. And then a uh, Jordan Poole here for the Warriors, who. Solid, solid uh, player for them now. Uh, Bryce McGowan's here for the Charlotte Hornets. Bryce McGowan's another uh, another uh, crickets guy for me, meaning I've never heard of him. But there's that's not anything new on this episode. Bryce uh, McGowan's got a Davian Mitchell with the frequent flyers uh, with Don Davian Donovan Mitchell here with the Cavaliers. Uh, with even and like I was saying, all these even have even the inserts have the uh, have the winter effect to it. Donovan Mitchell, and the last card here is, uh, yeah, is uh, another arriving soon here of Jaden Ivey. Now, the one thing I will say with these winter, now I didn't open up the winter editions the last two years of NBA Hoops, probably because I couldn't find them when they hit. Um, these might be a lot more rare um, than the regular NBA Hoops, meaning print run, all that fun stuff. So, rookie-wise, these might be a more desirable card. Uh, just a hunch. Now, I will say is right now I'm not pulling any parallels outside of what I'm getting here. Now, if I recall, also, the checklist was not... Yeah, there are purples and things like that in here. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll get one right now. But like pack number three. We'll see what we get. Let's go. Just a bunch of base and an insert. There's Tyrese Halliburton. Guy's a hit in my eyes, man. Kyrie Irving, you already heard what my thing about it, that guy. Evan Mobley. I'll show you this because why not? Evan Mobley uh, was was he was was he runner up in the rookie of the year last year? Uh, either way, the guy had a great season and just another solid guy for the uh, for the Cavaliers. Cam Reddish for the Knicks. 
uh, DeAndre Hunter for the Hawks. Corey Kispert, yeah, I throw you in the hits your second year. There's a Juan Toscano. It's funny because the print, Alec, it's the exact same order too for some reason. Eric Gordon, Nikola Jokic with the snow, if you will, but there's Nikola Jokic. I'm not seeing anything that's being like an SSP, if you will, like what Topps does. Uh, there's Dwayne Wade. He's a hit right now, but he's going to go hang out. Uh, he's an old man hit. But Dwayne Wade there with the uh, throwback going into the hit pile. We have Christian Coloco here for the Toronto Raptors. Rookie card Christian Coloco. <laughs> Coloco. For the Toronto Raptors, rookie card with the snow. Uh, Rudy Gobert there with the Tim Rolls in the snow. We have uh, Nikola Jovic. Jovic, not Jokic. Jovic for the uh, Miami Heat. wonder if he's related to Jokic, but who knows? It's not Jokic. It's Jovic. Jovic. But Nikola rookie then another we have a Paolo here for uh Paolo for the uh magic's uh rookie greetings which is yeah fits rookie greetings you know time of year winter all that fun stuff it fits though but there is the Paolo right there with the rookie greetings and arriving now with Christian Braun arriving now Christian Braun for the Nuggets so again, I did not know they did this winner. Uh, I knew it was a winner, but I thought it would be like one parallel, kind of like what we see with Donner's uh, football when they had their winter uh, edition, if you will, or holiday, where it was just the one card that was anything remotely holiday. So it's interesting. All right, you ready for pack number three? Good, because I'm going to open it. Pack number three, uh, four, excuse me, pack four of NBA Hoops Retail Winter Blaster. Ah, Jesus. Shred this pack. All right. And just more. And that's another insert at the end. Gary Trent Jr., Tyler Hero, Malcolm Brogdon, Seth Curry, Devontae Graham, Gabe Vincent, Justin Holiday. There's Luca with the snow, if you will. Like I said, this is the exact same order, too, that the um, that they had with NBA Hoops. So it's just interesting to see that they would do the order the same in this just because it's a totally different print. There's Luca going in the hits. There's Gary Payton, PC hit for me, which is going in the hits right now, but eventually it's a PC hit. Walker Kessler here for the Jazz, the uh, the power forward center rookie, Walker Kessler. Another one of those rookies who's been performing overall decently. So, yeah, maybe it's because the Jazz are good. I don't know, but there's Walker Kessler, rookie card. And then uh, another Keegan Murray here. We pulled you a bit ago, but don't need to show it to you. Uh, there is Tari Eason, or Terry Eason, however you want to pronounce it. But either way, I did get a rookie of him. Pulled your insert earlier, but there is your rookie card with some snowflakes on it. And then Aaron Wiggins did get a frequent flyers with Zion. There's the frequent flyers with Zion right there going to hang out in the hits because that's where you belong, buddy. There is Zion. And the last card is Arriving Now Hollow of Keegan Murray. So it is a Keegan Murray box, my god. Uh, with the hollow. Keegan Murray. Cool. I mean, I don't know. I mean, the guy is, he, he, he's, he was one of the names, like I mentioned, none of the names I saw that was like doing decent. So I could be happy about that because he's a decent rookie right now. So either way, that's that's a cool looking card, especially with the the hollow on that. But much better than the James Harden one I got. Not James Harden, but the other. Yeah, well, Don, yeah, Donovan Mitchell wasn't bad. But pack number five. Pack five. We got two packs left here in this winter retail blaster box. Let's go. All right, we got a Lori Markinen. Uh, yeah, we got oh P.J. Washington, George Hill. It's like ruining these cards. Grant Williams. C.J. McCollum, Jaden McDaniels, yes, I threw him in the hits. De'Aaron Fox, Kitsap Porzingis again, Russell Westbrook, who sold his car dealership now, and does no longer Russell Westbrook here. Uh, Jalen Williams here for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Jalen Williams, another one of those rookies who's actually performing decently this year, which is always a plus, especially as a collector and a fan and all that fun stuff. Jalen Williams for the Thunder. Uh, ja Morant here for the Grizzlies going into the hip pile, but man, I'm, I just heard something crazy about him hanging out with his buddies and uh, at the Pacers game after and just like doing like a laser focus on a gun or something like that. It fans for 
Doesn't sound like a good move, dude. Even if these are people, you're not in, evidently he was in the car. That's the scary part. It's like, dude, don't be pulling that crap, man. You're so close to, you're so close to greatness. Don't be doing that stuff, man. Don't. Uh, nice, nice. PC hit, Shade and Sharp right there with the winter. Shade and Sharp definitely gonna go down here in the rookie file and eventually in my PC. There's Shy with the, uh, I didn't, I don't know if I showed it earlier, but there's Shy. I don't still think I showed his base, but there's Shy with the winter, if you will. But he is a hit and the guy's just killing this year. Did get a Devin Booker with the sky view, Devin Booker. Sky view right there with the sky view insert for the, uh, for the Phoenix Suns. And is that, yeah, there is a little, little snow on it. And Chris Boucher with the purple foil or whatever, because it's not purple. It's the purple foil uh, parallel. But Chris Boucher here for the Raptors. Our first parallel, realistically, our first parallel of the day. All right, you ready for the last pack here? Pack number six. This is our fatty, meaning there's a insert in here. Not an insert, but a uh, relic or mem. But either way, let's find out what we get. Let's go. Okay. Let's see here. And it is the back card. All right, we got Clint Capella here for the Hawks. Dano uh, Delano Banton here for the Raptors. Jason Tatum, yeah, he's, he's a hit. But there's Jason Tatum there with the Celtics, and it's snowing on him. But either way, that's what... Uh, that's what Jason Tatum likes, some snow. He's actually from the Seattle area, so he's used to a little bit of snow. And he plays in Boston, so there's snow there too. Miles McBride here for the Knicks. Malik Monk for now the Kings, but we're in Lakers here. Dorian Finney-Smith again, now with the uh, Nets. Paul George, Patrick Beverly for the Lakers. Harrison Barnes for the Kings. He's having a good season, isn't he? Yeah. There's Luca with the retro, Luca with the retro uh, design. Uh, cool. Got the little snow there, but there's Luka Doncic, who is just solid, awesome ball player. There's Kenneth Lofton Jr. for the Memphis Grizzlies. Ken Crickets on this guy, but he looks like a big burfy guy there. Big burfy, burfy, big burly guy there. Kenneth Lofton. Looks like he's a, probably about a four, uh, just in size, not height wise, but he looks like a, you know, six foot nine, 300 pounds. But Kenneth Lofton, either way, make it funny, dude, but you're a much better ball player than I am. There's uh, Royce O'Neal for the Nets. We have EJ Liddell for the uh, for the New Orleans Pelicans. EJ Liddell, EJ Liddell. Again, no idea, but you're playing professional basketball in somewhere. Maybe it's in the G League. I don't care, but either way, you know how to ball. EJ Liddell. We did get a uh, insert here of Jason Tatum with the sky view. There's Jason Tatum. We did pull you a bit ago with your base, but there's your Jason Tatum sky view with the rear view mirror right there, Jason. But there you go, bud. And our last card it is a mem patch, fake mem, meaning it's a manufactured. Hoops, uh, rookie sweaters. It's not real. He never wore this thing. Feels good, though. Of Peyton Watson. Peyton Watson. That is our relic. Peyton Watson for the Nuggets. There is Peyton Watson right there with the uh, manufactured relic. Yeah. What does it say? It is the enclosed license. It's not associated with any specific player, game, or event. No, nah, because he just cut a uh, New Denver Nuggets colored uh, sweater. But there is our hit. So there you have it. There is the uh, NBA Hoops comparison. Uh, go real quick over the rookies in the Fat Pack. Now, again, if you do the Fat Pack, you do three of these. That's pretty much a blaster. So Walker Kessler with the arriving now. Mark Williams, Malachi Branham, Blake Wesley, Caleb Houston, and Musa Debate. Uh, for the hits, the uh, Donovan Mitchell, uh, Nikola Jokic, Moses Moody, Allen Iverson, LeBron, uh, Brandon Boston, Anthony Davis, Dayron Sharp, and Cade Cunningham. And I'm being loose on the hits, obviously, with that stuff. Um, for the uh, for the inserts, parallels, I mean, the James Harden uh, teal explosion is pretty cool, even though I'm not a big James Harden fan. And the uh, Clint Capella purple. That is the parallels we pulled. Now, again, with the fat pack you're looking at again like i said you're looking at 90 cards if you do three of those that equates a blaster box and in the blaster box 
we did get ourselves for rookies. We got ourselves a Paolo with arriving now, Wendell Moore, Kendall Brown, Paolo right there, base, uh, Shaden Sharp, rookie greetings, Benedict Mathun, uh, Mathurin, uh, Osmane Dieng, AJ Green, Jabari Smith, Christian Braun, uh, Oche Agabagi, Osman Dieng with the blue parallel, Tyrese Martin, uh, Caleb Houston again, Musa Debate again, Vince Williams Jr. We did get a Trey Eason, Houston, rookie greetings, uh, Peyton Watson, Chet Holmgren, and Shaden Sharp. So we did we did good on the rookies on that. Um, for the hits, the Jamal Murray is interesting, but I think it's just a standard. In not, I mean, it's the only one we pulled, but the, definitely had some damage on it too, Jesus. But uh, yeah, the Jamal Murray for uh, Hollow, Zion, Kaminga, Brandon Ingram, Davian Mitchell, Scotty Barnes, Trey Young, Donovan Mitchell, Herbert Jones. There's Jamal Murray base, Lamelo Ball, Skyview, Anthony Simmons, Simons, Luka Doncic, Moses Moody, another Iverson, Nikola Jokic. We got a frequent flyers of Cade, uh, Anthony Edwards, uh, Kispert, Shai Gilgis, and Paul George. For the parallels, we did get a lot more parallels, so that's one thing that's interesting. We got the Cade, Ken uh, Pat Kenahot, Kenahton, whatever, blue, the Chris Paul, that's actually, that is a base card, so you're going in the commons. Isaiah Jackson, purple, the James Harden, Skyview, and the blue. So we did get four parallels that were not rookies. One rookie parallel, but blue, purple, and then the hollow right there. So yeah. Uh, for the retail winter blaster, I mean, all these are winter cards. Uh, EJ Liddell, Kenneth Lofton, Shaden Sharp, Jalen Williams, uh, Keegan Murray arriving now hollow, Terry, Terry Eason, another Keegan Murray, Walker Kessler, Christian Braun, uh, pa Paolo uh, with the rookie greetings, uh, Nikola Jovich, Jovich uh, Christian Kolo, Kaloko, uh, Jaden Ivey, uh, Bryce McGowans, Javari Smith, Dyson Daniels, the purple Keegan Murray, uh, the Osman Dieng for Oklahoma rookie readings, Jalen Duran, and uh, Dalen Terry with that. The only parallel that I noticed that we got was the Chris Boucher with the Raptors with the purple there. Chris Boucher, that's the only one I saw that we got. For the hits, I mean, same type of thing. Uh, these all have the winter thing on them. Uh, Jason Tatum, Luka Doncic, uh, Paul George, Jason Tatum, Devin Booker, Shai Gilgis, uh, John ja Morant, uh, Jaden McDaniel, uh, Zion, Gary Payton Jr., another Luka, Dwayne Wade, Nikola Jokic, Corey Kispert, Evan Mobley, Tyrese Halliburton, Donovan Mitchell, Alperin Sinjin, Quickly, Anthony Davis, uh, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, Jeremy Grant, and Jalen Brown. Now, some of those are PC, but... So yeah, when it's all said and done, honestly, you're getting more rookies, uh, more rookies in the blaster, the retail blaster. Now this is all preferential. If you see it at Walmart, I will say the print run will probably be a lot less on the winter. So if you're looking to pull some of the rookies or anything like that, that might be a way to go. When it's like I said, when it comes to the parallels, I got one parallel and I got that uh, relic. Now technically, all of the cards are parallels. So if you're looking at that part of it, they're all parallel. So there's something to be said there. Um, I personally, if I was buying any more of this, which I'm probably not, to be honest with you. But if I was, I would say the blaster might be the better route to go. Um, you do get those explosion, the teal, exp the uh, explosion. Now, granted, that was in my pack. I don't know if that's a standard thing, but you do get the uh, explosion, uh, orange or the teal. And that's not too bad. Um, that's, I mean, it looks good. Um, but that was the yeah, I got some hollows and stuff like that, but nothing major So when it's all said and done you get more cards and uh, You get more rookies in the blaster again three fat packs seven bucks each 740 21 So you're looking at 21 22 bucks depending on where you buy it at for three fat packs, which will equate a blaster box So yeah, I mean that's yeah, you're but you're getting more rookies and you're getting more inserts when it's all said and done inside the blaster so if you were to see the black, I would say blaster, winter blaster, and then fat pack. That's kind of how I would roll it. Again, the thing with the winter is you're getting its exclusive winter design. So take that with a grain of salt. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching Rip Packs on this Monday on this comparison rip of NBA Hoops Retail. 
Wouldn't be here if you weren't watching and subscribing, so thank you so much. Wouldn't be here if you weren't liking, so thanks a lot. Uh, notification bell, and again, leave a comment. And the comment is, who is, what's a rookie that you're kind of high on? Yeah, who's the rookie? Did I pull him? Probably did, actually. I pulled some decent rookies. Did I pull him? Anyway, thank you again for watching for the packs. Come back on Wednesday. I'm ripping open some WWE with my brother. Until then, always rip some packs.